Oh, that's right, Mayor Peter. Our old mayor is visiting town. Why don't I introduce you? M Mr. Tortimer? Uh, well, hello there, whippersnapper. I'm Tortimer. I used to be the mayor of Ostia, you know. So you're the new mayor I've been hearing about, Peter, right? Being the old mayor, sometimes I wonder how things are going, so I decided to drop by to say hi. I'm particularly glad I got to see you today. It's good fortune, I'd say. Right now, I'm enjoying my golden years of retirement on a tropical island far, far from here. It's a resort island where summer is norm and winter is banished. Are you jealous? <laughs> Say, you should take a break from work and get refreshed by visiting the island from time to time. I'll be sure to give you detailed directions on how to get there, so meet me by the dock on the beach. We'll see you later, Sprout. Oh! How nice that you can go to a tropical island. I'm so jealous. Actually, I received invitations as well, but I just can't seem to go find the time to go. That And that is why I still have never been there. If you do end up going, please tell me all about it. I want to hear abso about absolutely everything. But did I digress a bit there? Sorry. Sorry. Back to business then. Okay, I'll set- Oh, that's right, uh, Mayor Peter. Someone new has moved into town today. I'm sure getting an official welcome from the mayor will just help them settle in. Well, that was a really long intro, but hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here. And we're back for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh. And... Oh. Toss it. Oh, Patricia's birthday is actually on the 25th, but I need to remember that. We got a thing from Daisy and from the campground. Uh, yesterday, actually, uh, off-camera, I actually built my house up, so now we have more room. As you can see, I also put some furniture, so, like, for example, this bunk bed and Isabel's pick. You just move everything. I know this is just gonna how how it's gonna be for now until we actually get some good furniture. Obviously, this is Isabel's picture. Isabel's picture, huh? There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. Born on December twentieth, Sagittarius. Favorite saying is, "A good attitude will always take you further from a, than a bad habit." And you can see right there, precious little smile. Anyways, not only that, but I did get my hundred percent approval rating. So, yes, we all got that all off screen yesterday. I actually didn't know. I was just, you know, trying to, like, you know, relax while, like, you know, in school. Also, well, although there's no fruit bearing right now, the perfect orange tree has grown to a full-sized one. So we don't have to, you know, worry about it dying or anything. We also planted some other, uh, or we basically, uh, Harvested whatever we got from it. And also two new people moved in, because I haven't played in a few days. Not in, like a lot of days, but maybe one or two. And, yes, Ed is one of these people. But actually we got a few more people who moved as well. The one that recently moved in today, I do not know who it is. While we have, I think, this person right here. Oh, no, that's Peanut, never mind. Shari, yes, if you ever, uh, if you ever seen, uh, Chugger Conroy's Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf, Shari's in his town, and apparently, I don't know, there's just some funny thing that she just, like, creeps around and whatnot. Ah. Uh. So, yeah, I got that, and... I cleared up most of my pockets. I basically, whatever furniture I got in candy, I put it away. But when Halloween does come by, I will actually uh, take everything out. Oh, let me grab the pen. But it's just so awkwardly placed. There we go. And it looks pretty cloudy today, but I don't think it's going to rain unless it, like, you know, just automatically just starts raining from out of nowhere. 
Anyways, uh, there is there is no sight of her at the moment. But for all we know, we could end up seeing her as like we walk by. Let's water this so it comes back to life. Get rid of that. So yeah, now we have our 100% approval rating. So let's actually go to Isabel and see what we can finally do now that we have the uh, approval. And obviously Isabel is now wearing her fall and winter a for a formal. Ah, Mayor Peter, you came in great time. Your town per development per permit is here. You can finally start to work. As mayor, you have two primary ways to influence the girl for Ostia. First is audiences. Okay. So, let's attack one and see what we can do. And also, the other thing is public projects. So, yeah, that's just the whole gist of it. I'm pretty sure you all know. Uh, let's do audiences first, because we don't have one. 20,000. Oh, God. We do not have any bells at the moment. Well, not enough. But let's also see what public work projects we have. <laughs> and the current request. We got a bridges, we got campsites, fire hydrants, fences, and everything else in between. Uh, we're actually going to do a bridge first. Now, I know this is like a lot of money, but we're going to... Start with that first, because I feel like we need a bridge, because that's a... Actually, no, 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 no. Actually, no. <laughs> I know that I, I realize, even though it is a lot of money, I feel like we could do something else, but which is a good start. Let's go. Also, we changed the town tune as well uh, off camera, so we have a brand new town tune. As you can see, it's a fire emblem theme. Public works projects. Instead, we're actually going to do. We've got a fountain, campsite, fence, fire hydrant. So let's actually begin with a street lamp. Now the reason why I didn't make it to didn't go for the bridge because we still haven't unlocked that island yet. But we we are going to visit Tortimer at the dock after we uh, finish finding a good place for this light, in which I think right over here is a good one. <laughs> and we don't really have to move anything. And Lloyd here is going to help us out. So yeah, we got everything set up for the street lamp. And that's our first public or public project. Alright, let's pull that out. Yeah, I know, I should have, you know, the weed. Not the weed, uh. The whole thing with uh, the bridge, you know, obviously because I don't want to keep traveling like over here and then walking. Oh, it started, I think it started raining. I don't know, it's not like a drop. I'm not sure if I put my umbrella away. Also, we got two presents. One from the campground, which is something I got yesterday, and Daisy, which she actually actually visited her house. She gave us an exotic bench, and I got pancakes from a camp, from a camp trailer. So, yeah, we pretty much got ourselves another piece of furniture. I uh, thought that was a... Uh, here we go. Here's the new person that just moved in. Oh, never mind, that's Ed, which we actually do need to give him the present that was supposed to be given to him, but apparently, because, you know, the villagers are very lazy. Delivery for Ed. Let's see what it is.
And he got a bubblegum tea. And he's going to give us his old shirt. Yep. So yeah, apparently, you know, anim animals in this place, you know, they just give and whatever. You know, take off their clothes and give you theirs. Now, the best thing about the island that Tortimer is inviting us to is actually how beneficial it is to making money. Oh, and Red is here too, but I don't think I really want to go and visit him. As, you know, I don't really want to go through the whole phone process again. And plus, we already put in at least one. Now, there is one person... Oh. We got a new place that's building, which is really good. So yeah, that should be available the net tomorrow, which is the twentieth. Um, Peanuts here. All right. Um, I do appreciate your you you're coming in so often, but I've just got tons of work to do. I'm very sorry. So yeah, now she's obviously more open to talking with us. So that's a kimono. Oh, wow. You know, eventually, we're going to get mannequins from them, so I actually really do want this, because maybe they have, like, a mask. Let's see. There's a school jacket. Eh, not really feeling the school jacket. Now, I'm just buying random clothes sometimes, because I'm just trying to, to also get the mannequins. Oh! Oh! Our first piece of equipment, well, accessories, that aren't, you know, that are very special. We'll take this, we'll take the little bros hat, and we're also going to take the... Bug mask, because, you know, obviously, for Halloween. And there we go. We also are helping out Label 2, who will also end up giving us a... Whoa. Who will also end up, end, us, end up giving us a mannequin. Uh, let's go to Nookling Junction, because also selling and buying things from them also help them out and could increase their store size. And obviously, we're going to buy that candy. And there we go. That's all the stuff I wanted to get from here. So let's actually go down to the dock to see Tortimer. And afterwards, we're actually going to go see this man up here, or dog, which is Digby. So yeah, I got everything planned, so we don't have to worry about anything. Let's actually... We have our bug mask, so we're going to actually put that away. Let's actually... Wear our Luigi cap for now. The well, little bro's cap. Because obviously Luigi is the little bro. Alright. Because we don't have any closets or storage areas. We have four pieces of candy. Alright, furniture. Let's put in the, away the pancakes, the sleek sideboard, and the exotic bench for now. Also put away this. Also got some clothes to put away. The pink PJs. The werewolf hood. And the bug mask. Oh, there was one more that I had to put away. And it was these pants. Well, the black formal skirt. And the one I bought from... Oh, this I actually bought from yesterday. Because everything else is also pretty feminine. Except for like this ugly like male... I'm not sure what it was, but it was like some, like, formal stuff. And formal things aren't really my thing. I like the sporty things. My favorite shirt, actually, when I was younger, was the uh, flame shirt. I don't know why. Just, like, the look of it was, I don't know, it just was so cool. 
All right, we also got Umbrella just in case it rains. Like, I know you don't really need the Umbrella, but, you know, I just ha bought it because it's fall, and this Umbrella just fits perfectly. I mean, look at it. Anyways, uh, now that that's taken care of, let's actually, oh, hold on. Is this the new, no, that's Patricia. Lily is, I think, the new person that what came here. I'm not sure. I have to see. And I think it is. Yep, Lily's a frog. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Lily. I just moved here, so I'm still finding my way. Once I finish unpacking, I hope you'll give some pointers on life in Asia. Alright, so that was Lily. That's our first frog. Now, we met two of the new people. I'm not sure where Shari is, though. Oh, Patricia's here. It's her birthday in actually a few days, so we're actually going to have an October 25th. We're going to be visiting her, and oh. Oh, Ricky's trying to move, so yeah, we're, you're not going to go. We have a bunch of squirrels, and you're not going to be one of them to leave. And we got a first instance of a lost item. So we have two people here, so maybe it's one of them. So let's ask Patricia first. Uh, unless there was a villager that I didn't really like. Oh. Oh, it was Patricia. And she got us a fishing vest. Wow. That was pretty easy. Well, next time probably won't be as easy as it is, but whatever. Oh, I keep getting confused because usually I'm used to just going to the depth, to the bottom right and just exiting through there. But this is a weird layout of a town. But I wanted it because it looked pretty cool when I first saw it. Then I realized that this town actually has quite a few problems. Right. Also, our mango tree actually grew too. I actually played hide and seek with, I think, Ricky yesterday as well. And we got silver this time. It's pretty good, pretty good. Alright, let's see if there's anything here. No. And here's Tortimer. Oh, Peter, you came just like I hoped you would. Say now, what did you, what did I want to see you about? Hmm. Oh, that's right, that's right. I was going to tell you about the tropical island. The tropical island where I live is a resort where summer is endless and people visit from around the world. That's why it doesn't matter if it's fall or what, you be, or what, because you can always get by with a single tropical shirt. On the island, there are lots of rare things you can j just can't see uh, in any other places. You can relax on the beach and play hard by going on a tour. It's truly paradise. The boat that takes passengers to islands arrives at this dock. I already told the person in charge to start making to stop to start making stops in this town starting tomorrow. Well, starting t tomorrow we're actually going to go visit the island, so that's going to be part of the plan making. Oh, and uh, speaking of who, let's tell Phil. Oh wow, his thing was slow. So let's tell him how it went. And he doesn't seem to mind too much. He was pretty happy. Uh, let's actually go here in retail. See if there's any other villagers in there. Doesn't seem like it. Let's see if there's anything we want to put. Uh, a silver nugget. Normally go to 3,000, but let's sell it for 5,000. I actually did this with a beehive, and I actually went for I sold it for 3,000 bells, which normally doesn't go for that much. Oh, and it's Ricky. Let's rep him off again, because he was the one who actually bought the beehive from yesterday. Have him walk in. Come on, Ricky. Don't be shy. All right. So usually what I do whenever I see a villager come in 
And they ever try looking at any other items and just like, no, you're gonna buy my products. You're gonna... Alright, let's have him look up here. Oh no, he's gonna go for the bed. No, you don't. You want this. It's a nice silver nugget. This nice silver nugget. There you go. And we just made 2,000 more bells than usual. And he thinks it's a bargain. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could have sold that for more. Maybe if it was a gold nugget, maybe. But, gotta say that was pretty good. Anyways. Uh, now that we're done with that, let's actually head up. Uh, screw it, I'll just leave that for later. Because I am going to play off stream as well, because, you know, I don't really want to leave this town alone after every time I finish recording. So, anyways, let's head up and actually finish up today's episode by visiting Digby. Now, with the audience that I'm going to put down, it's actually going to be the beautiful town one. So, basically, no weeds and the flowers are going to bloom. There's going to be so many flowers, so it's going to be pretty good. Anyways, obviously, they're twin brother and sister. And we can activate Street Pass, so Digby is going to be really useful. So let's get Street Pass rolling. So if we visit anybody that has the game, or like you know, if we could pass by anybody who has it, then we will get their town information, and we'll actually get the house that they have, so we can actually purchase some stuff. Now there's nothing really there at the moment. Anyways, let's actually go to Nook Holmes before we end off. Because he's going to tell us, you know, oh, you like the new improvements to the house? And, you know, give us her new price. So 98,000 bells. We obviously don't have that at the moment. And here is Lyle. He's the Happy, room, happy Home Academy uh, manager, I guess. Well, he investigates home interior. And obviously he will tell us our score depending on your furniture and special items. For example, the Isabel pick will give us a lot of bonus points. And as well as any other villagers' items, they will get bonus points. Anyways, I think that's about it for this episode. Not much progress happened, but I did show what happened yesterday, and we did actually get some stuff done. I do want to see where Shari is, though, uh, before we actually do end off here. But I don't really know where she is. Like, I can't really think of anywhere she would be. So she's just probably creepily wandering around. But anyways, love my videos with a like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Oh, there's a big fish. Actually, no, I don't think that's big. Might be a black bass. Just trying to fool me. I don't know. Usually, I don't know. It's just weird how everything is. Let's see, she's here. No, she's not. If we had that megaphone item, maybe we would be able to contact her in some sort of way, shape, or form. Anyways, we will see you all in the next episode.